Justin, I got a pro tip for you for today. Uh, it's something that a lot of folks have asked off and on in the Hacks group and in our Insiders group. And it seems to be a topic of conversation that kind of goes like this. You know, it comes and it goes. And then it, it, it cycles back around every six, eight weeks or so. Someone asked this question. And so I figured I would basically share with the rest of the world what we pretty much always share in the Church Media Hacks group. By the way, if you guys are interested, go to churchmediahacks.com. It's a private Facebook group where you can hang out with us and a whole bunch of other people just like you learning how to do all kinds of cool stuff, like use this tool that I'm going to show you today. Check this out. A lot of people um, ask the question about, hey, how do I get closed captioning on our uh, live stream? How do I, how do I, how do I get you know, without having like somebody in another room sitting there going and typing the whole time, how do I get that to happen on my live stream? You know, they also want to know how to have captions and titles and stuff that are not auto generated, like from YouTube or Facebook, um, like a like a transcript. Basically, they want to know how to have that stuff on their videos. I've got a really cool tool I want to show you, Justin. Have you ever heard of Web Captioner? Heard of it? Never seen it. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Thank it's goodness. You, you are, that is, that is, that is a scratching an itch that I have because I I am interested in what does it take to do this? Exactly. And hopefully after you see this, you'll be able to sleep tonight without, you know, throwing fits and stuff. I'm hoping that this gives you solace. Okay. Check this out. Uh, If you go to webcaptioner.com, webcaptioner.com, you're going to come up on this page and it's going to be like, what? That doesn't look like anything. This is a mix of a. Um, uh, here, here's some like instructions and all this kind of stuff. They got a little community, got a donate button, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but the big button that you see up here in the top corner, this is to start captioning. All right, now one of the things that's really cool about Web Captioner is that it can integrate with vMix. What is vMix? vMix is broadcasting software that you can do a live stream with, or you can record, or both. You know, it's like OBS. It's like, um, well, it's it's like the software that there's the same kind of stuff that runs a TriCaster. It's the broadcasting and live streaming software. And vMix lets you integrate vMix's live captioning into vMix so that it becomes part of your tool set when you're doing a live stream. You want to hit start captioning. It may or may not, depending on if you've said yes or no, uh, prompt you for giving access to your uh, microphone. And once you do, you basically hit start captioning. And as you can see, it is already saying the things that I'm saying. Um, Take a look down at the bottom. You'll see it says too quiet, which means it's having a hard time understanding or hearing what I'm saying. So I may need to turn the the volume up on my microphone or the input level or what have you. But as you can see, it's doing a relatively good job of automatically translating what I'm saying into text. Now, there's a couple of little issues here that basically... The people that are reading this live would be able to understand the context and put it into the appropriate bucket in their mind and know exactly what you're saying, unless you're just flat out mumbling and babbling. So this should work just fine. Now, what's cool about this is once it's all done, you can actually take this text and export it out and then clean it up and make use of it however you need. There's a lot of different things you can do with this, okay? One of the things that I've played with with besides having it automatically generate as I'm talking, is I've used it before to generate a transcript for a short video. How did I do that? I turned it on, okay? I run the sound for my computer through a mixer. So my microphone input is a mixer with the computer sound, the microphone, you know, another computer plugged into it, my my, uh, iPad that you guys hear the music on, plugged into it, all that sort of stuff. So my microphone, my line in, has a whole bunch of inputs. So one of the things that I've done before is I've turned on the captioning and then brought up a video and sat quietly with my microphone turned down, but the computer volume turned up and played the video and let it listen to the audio of that video being played and generate a script that I then went and cleaned up a little bit and then put some time indexes and made it a um, you know, a transcript uh, and the captions in a YouTube video. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with it. Go check it out. It's web caption, webcaptioner.com. It's a really cool tool. Now, do you understand? I totally understand. Tommy said web captioner is great unless you have a Southern accent. <laughs> so, you know, Southern Baptist, you know, if you're down here in the South, like like me, maybe uh, maybe you get to go through and clean it up. Let me say this. When you told me about Web Captioner, I 
I, I just thought this is this is great. Another another captioner that I have to go through and spend 30 minutes cleaning up. Mm-hmm. Um, I am amazed that you just did this live demo. If anyone's listening to the audio part, go watch the video because this is pretty cool. Dave had the the web captioner up while he was telling you about web captioner. It picked up his turns of phrases. He said, that, and it'll do this and what have you. And it actually like wrote out what have you with hyphens exactly as it should be. It picked up pretty much everything. The only error I, I saw was it's it, you said too much and it used T-O much instead of T-O-O, which no one's going to call your church nah. about. This this is actually, I'm impressed. Yeah, I, I am impressed. So I, go I check it so. out. This is not some off the wall thing. It actually worked. Yeah, it so. did. And and I th- and I think one of the big keys that a lot of people miss with this is to make sure that you've got the sound going in at a high level so that when yeah. you do have the little fluctuations in your voice, you're not dipping below that threshold and it's like I can't hear you, you know. It's cool. 